Well, here we are, can I? Uh, Hannibal took his pre-turn, made some attacks, and improved some of his forces here. See, everything's still flipped. I haven't finished the turn completely, but the first Roman activated ended up in a die roll of doom situation, got one attack and routed one unit. Overall, I'd say this is a bad situation for uh, uh, for the Romans that the turn ended so quickly. They're the ones who need to move things forward. Uh, Hannibal was able to do a decent amount, whereas they only they did get one line to move forward, but they only got one attack and one unit routed. And the Romans have a lot of routed stuff that's going to just keep running because of this turn. Oops. Speaking of. This guy's one of them. Okay, well, uh, I'll just uh, clean this one up, this turn up, and move on to the next one. But we're going to see some additional Roman points, perhaps, because they... Three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. This guy comes off, so that's going to be seven more points. But other than that, I don't see a lot happening. Okay, so the Romans uh, managed to push forward and actually find a line that they could move. Kind of smashed some of these Celts out of the way. Made another small line that smashed some of these Spaniards out of the way. Uh, you know, I mean, it's tough going. There's no question. The Romans, they, they're facing the wind again, but the Romans are just so mighty. That <laughs> the only thing is this. They will route uh, if they're only trading off losses now. They're doing a little better right now by killing one of the Numenidians and their cab actually smashed into them up here and pursued and off map. And now they can start rallying that cab and trying to bring it back into play. Uh, and that's probably about the best thing that could happen, given that there's no calf up here anymore for them. They've lost everything else. They might as well have three units that are in fairly good shape, even if it means that the Numenidians are going to have free reign against uh, the Roman left flank. Right now, we're moving to... We got rid of all the, all the garbage leaders, I think. All, all the threes and lower. Which means we're up to... Somebody Carthaginian. I don't know. Over here. Hanno. i got to try to figure out what to do with him. These are Roman units now. So that phalanx is once again right in the front line. Well, we see Hestrul's uh, moving his calf up to play. He's once again chased the Romans off. Cav, infantry, whatever was there. This line has been unable to move throughout the Roman turn. I wanted to get a line command to move it, but it moved Vero near it, so I guess I didn't want it too much. What I did do was smashing down here with uh, a bit more and reinforcing it. Over here, we're seeing quite a bit of fighting going on between Hanno and Paulus especially. And you know, it's definitely a bit of a mess, but the Roman line has been breaking away, and the Carthaginian uh, phalanxes are really uh, not in good shape there. One's routed. We got uh, some Celts routing here. Uh, all these no missiles, those are Romans facing various ways. I've got the Romans kind of stretching up this way in case the Numenidians come, or whence the Numenidians come. It's not terribly strong, but it's what I can do, and at the very least I won't be being pressured too hard by the infantry here because they're gone, pretty much. Alright, well, we're on to those Numenidians, and i got to figure out what to do with them. Well, I moved them, and then got another one of them die roll of doom situations. Turns over, man. Uh, I'll do the cleanup. But uh, that's really a shame for Carthage because that means they didn't get to use their full Hannibal advantage. He only went once. Got some routing units back here. That, I don't know if any are going off the board. It's going to be close. But uh, 
he definitely could have strengthened this line, and this means the center has less of a chance of surviving well next turn. All right, I'll do the cleanup. Uh, losses, again, heavy for the Romans, but decent amount for the uh, Carthaginians. We'll get the points in a moment. So point-wise, we're at 155 Roman, 71 Carthaginian. Position-wise, it does not look good to me for the Carthage side. Uh, it, but, you know, I keep swinging back and forth or whatever. But got a big gaping hole here with a phalanx facing the wrong way. It's sort of a clump here. Here, eh, not a lot of strength. Some defensive capability here where as long as they have Hannibal, it's okay. But then it gets weak here. Some backup stuff, but most of that's routed now uh, because of last turn's problem. Kind of weakness here, but they've got to kind of, the Romans are going to have to kind of push through to get there. Strong pocket of Celts here. This is going to be a powerful blow when it hits. Uh, there's no question of that. Unless the Romans hit it first. If the Romans get first strike, they probably break the Celts before the Celts break a bunch of Romans. This phalanx here, nothing's going to attack it right now. The Cav, possible threat around the corner. Same thing here with the Numenidians, possible threat in the rear, well, definite threat in the rear there. Uh, but not very effective against the straight, uh, against this big line. And if that line reaches the water, that calf probably doesn't have a whole heck of a lot to do. Uh, lots and lots of Carthaginian calf in pursuit. Got to get a leader out there to fix that. The Romans have one. <laughs> Cavs all off the board anyway. Uh, and we'll be bringing some Cav back at some point. A lot of routing Romans back here, though. Coming throughout all here. And, you know, I mean, sort of the question is, will the Roman army route before they can destroy the Carthaginian army, basically? Because that's where we're sitting. It, it, the Roman army is powerful enough still that if it weren't for route points, it would win. <laughs> you know, it's much, much larger, and it can just keep coming and coming and coming. Even if it loses units, it's still got rank after rank. I mean, these are the best back here. These are the principes back here. They're not even in the fight because we have two ranks of uh, Hastari. Well, more than two, four ranks of Hastari, whatever, smashing in one after the other after the other. And because of the low quality uh, Roman units, they're not as potent as perhaps they always as they usually seem to be. And with that leadership, our wonderful Vero, for example, we're not, you know, this isn't an army that's got the same strengths at all as the Carthaginian army. It's completely the opposite. And this whole thing might break. And if it does, well, the pursuit will be glorious and all that. We're not seeing the historical Kanai turn out here at all, though. There's no chance of it. There's not enough of Carthage's army left. Now, the Roman Tribune here, Cash, is actually very carefully following the rules, managed to launch a line attack, which drove some units back, got two momentums in a row, and sent um, a couple of Hastari groups out, Hastari groups, and just really smashed. I mean, the, there's nothing left. This is all Roman now up here. So now we're down, you know, there's not a lot of table room left. When things are out, they're going to start falling off the map right away. Uh, they've almost completely. crush the center to the extent that if they're able to get control of the center, then they can swing lines forward in each direction and really dominate the map in that way. It's looking pretty bad for Carthage, but again, the points are not so bad. So, uh, you know, with 
155. Rome's not that far from uh, from breaking. They're they're less than 100 points away from breaking. So if they can't complete this type of operation without taking a lot of losses, they are going to break. But the tactical position looks horrible for Carthage. So things have uh, moved along even further. The push down continues. Fighting along here, Paulus slammed into, drove away a uh, Celt and slammed into the flank of that phalanx. His unit that slammed into it routed eventually, but that's all we got there. Now we go back to Mahabal and hopefully he won't end the turn this time. Uh, looks like there's a lot of Romans routing off the board though, but they're definitely continuing to make progress. Well, Hannibal managed to pull his magic again and get his line back into some sort of semblance. You know, at least they're not routing away, right? Uh, the Romans have definitely pushed. You can see their line along here. Definitely made a lot of ground in terms of breaking the Carthaginian army now. The problem is the points. But the points are beginning to look better. Uh, Romans well, lost uh, 17 or so. Whereas the Carthaginians lost almost 30. We're, we're beginning to see sort of a change in the momentum of where the points are going. Uh, still can't get this line moving. I'm relying on this one tribune up here to try to do it. Uh, because Varro, he's been trying to destroy what's going on here. It's not absolutely vital. This good old Hasdrubal has been kind of puttering around here, not really pushing the issue. Not my choice here. Uh, well, to some extent, because he's been rallying not just his calf, but some of these side units as well. Uh, Maharabal did not screw up this time. And he made a sizable dent coming this way. However, the Roman Cav is coming back on. They started regrouping. Uh, they'll be able to enter next turn. And I'm going to wrap this one up and send it up. Had to be very careful to stay away from the Triari. Still got a line of Romans routing off the board, though. That's a lot of points that's going to go away if I can't do something about it. And it's hard, because doing something about it means ignoring taking other actions. And that's, that's always the issue with this, this system, is you got to choose what do you want to do. Same thing with the musket and pike, really. you gotta, you got to choose. Any of, any of these... You can't do everything every turn. You can't position your leaders and say, Oh, look, I can rally everything from here. It's not like that kind of game. And I like that a lot about it, but it definitely makes it, you know, make, makes you make some hard choices that you don't have to make in, in some of the uh, earlier game systems. Still got a pile of Carthaginians sitting out here chasing down who knows what at this point. All right.